Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. Today we're going to be talking about the physics behind wave motion of a physical string. So if you ever have a physical string, and I guess I don't have to say the word physical string, I can just say string, like a string you can touch, and it's doing wave motion, in other words it's oscillating up and down, up and down really fast, then what we can do is we can use this equation to find the velocity of that wave on the string. The velocity of the wave is going to equal the square root of the tension force, which I call FT in the string, divided by Greek letter mu, or that is known as the linear mass density. And it has its own equation, mu equals mass over length, where L is the length of the string, M is the mass of the string. Which then means if you want to, you can rewrite this equation slightly differently, like this. The square root of FT, the tension force, times length divided by mass m. You can think about how that comes about. If you don't understand, then don't worry about it. Just memorize this. And don't forget, we also have this other equation that always holds true for waves, and that is velocity is equal to the wavelength times the frequency. So the reason why I'm telling you this is because I can give you a problem that looks something like this. Let's say I have a string oscillating up and down between two points really, really, really fast, something like this. Let's say the length of this rope is two meters long. Let's say it has a mass of 200 grams, which yes, we'll have to convert that to kilograms, not that hard. And then we'll say it has a frequency of 20 hertz. And ultimately my question is going to be, what is the tension in this string? So you can start in one of two places. For instance, you can start with the equation V equals square root of FT over mu, where mu is the linear mass density, which is mass, 0.2 kilograms, over the length, 2 meters. Looks like we're going to get 0.1 for our Greek letter mu. But the problem is I don't know the velocity. So I can't actually solve for the tension yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say V equals lambda times f, and now I gotta think about the wavelength for this wave. So if we see here, this is the first harmonic, and the reason why that's important, it means we can use this equation to find the wavelength, L equals n lambda over two, and this works whenever you have a both ends open or a both ends closed standing wave example. By the way, this one is both ends closed because as you can see, it ends on two nodes or two fixed positions, which is why this is both ends closed, and we can use this equation. And since this is the first harmonic, because there's only one loop here, n is one. So it looks like L, which is two, is equal to one times lambda over two, multiplying both sides by two. It looks like my wavelength is equal to four, and as we said earlier in the problem, the frequency is 20 hertz. So then velocity equals four times 20. We're gonna get a velocity of 80 meters per second, not for the string, but for the wave. And finally, I can plug that in. V equals square root of FT divided by mu. So that means 80 is equal to the square root of my tension force divided by, we said mu was 0.1. So now to solve for the tension force, first I gotta square both sides. That's gonna be 6,400 equals FT over 0.1, and then you just need to multiply both sides by 0.1. Looks like the tension force will be 640 newtons, and there's our answer for that one. Hopefully that made sense. Let's go ahead and just do one more. For this next physical string, this time I'm going to have three nodes, and it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna say the same length and the same mass as before, but this time I'm gonna give you the tension in the string. I'm gonna tell you it's 1,000 newtons, and what you're gonna tell me is what the frequency is. So let's see how we'd solve this. So first, velocity is equal to the square root of the tension force, 1,000, divided by the linear mass density, which is the exact same as the last problem, it was 0.1. If you plug this in a calculator, you're gonna get exactly 100. Isn't that cool? And then we just have to plug it in this equation, V equals lambda times F. However, we don't know what the wavelength is yet. Of course, we can use the same equation from earlier, 
This time n is going to be 2 because this is the second harmonic. The reason I know that is because there are 1, 2 loops. So that means L equals n lambda over 2. L is 2, n is 2, everything's 2. And now to solve for lambda, these 2's cancels and lambda just equals 2. Isn't that nice? So now velocity is equal to 2f and we know velocity is 100. So it looks like the frequency, divide both sides by 2, frequency must be 50 hertz. And there we go. Hopefully that made sense. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.